Hi there, it's Rob Sayer. Welcome to a very short uh, video on extending the use of our lantern symbols uh, for 2D lighting design uh, by adding a very quick uh, dynamic rotation. What that's going to do is give us the ability to easily uh, focus, if you like, or at least rotate the lantern on the drawing um, once we've inserted the block. So what I've got here from uh, previous videos, if you remember, is I've got a basic lantern block here. So it's currently, uh, it's got no values added to it. Uh, if I double click on it, you can see it's got all of those uh, attributes that we created in previous videos. But what I want to do is I want to edit this block so that I can uh, give it this rotation. Now, in order to edit the block, if you remember, it's the block editor, which is BE, and enter. And then you can see the block itself here with all of its attributes. Now what I want to do is I want to do uh, add an, a rotational element to it. Now if you look up here on the toolbar, um, it may well say something else uh, when you start off, so it may well look like this. Um, so what we're looking for here is uh, we're looking for a rotation and we're going to put the rotation round the center point of the lantern. So like, say this is the insertion point here where, for instance, our clamp would go. Uh, I'm going to click there. I'm going to just drag out the line um, a little bit further out from the lantern so that I can um, see where the rotation is going. The default rotation is going to be zero degrees. So I'm going to hit enter. And then it says number of grips. I'm going to have one grip on this particular lantern. So I'm going to hit one. What it's done, you'll see, is it's made this kind of um, all 360-degree uh, circle with a little angle on the, on the right-hand side of the lantern. Um, and that's the rotation, which in this case is called angle 1. Um, and, but the, first, the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to control it. So what we need to do is to look uh, at the next uh, drop-down box, and we're looking for a rotate, a dynamic attribute of rotate. And then it says select parameter. I can, collect, I can select angle 1. And then I can just uh, put, it says select objects, and we want this to happen to all of the objects in our block. So we're going to select all, hit done, and then I'm going to hit save. So once we've hit save, we can close the uh, block away. Now, if I click on this block now, uh, just to select it up, you can see there's a little uh, blue circle, which now has turned into a handle, if you see, that can, I can angle the lantern with. If I was to insert the lantern again, another one, I'm going to hit insert, uh, fill in my details, click on the lantern, rotate it. Obviously, if you don't have that rotation, it means that when you uh, do insert any a block element, you uh, obviously have to physically do a rotate. So in the case of putting down a lantern, say this is a profile, uh, we'd have to do a rotate, select the object up, select the base point, do your rotation and finish. Um, having this dynamic uh, rotation is, is particularly for dropping down li uh, lighting symbols. It's pretty useful. Um, there's loads of other things you can do with dynamic block elements, but um, hopefully that's a bit useful. It starts you off thinking a little bit about dynamic uh, blocks and gives you a really uh, quick way of uh, pointing your lighting symbols when you insert them onto the plan. See you soon.